Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. In the last video, we discussed about antigen presenting cells. Here is a short summary of cells involved in adaptive immune response. Starting with the definition of adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity or acquired immunity refers to the host defense mechanism that are mediated by B cells and T cells following exposure to antigen. And the characteristic features are high specificity, immense diversity, that is immunologic memory, and the cells can recognize self and non-self cells. So moving into the topic, the cells involved in adaptive immune response. The first class of cells are B cells. It is called as B cells because origin and maturation occurs in the primary lymphoid organ, which is a bone marrow. B cells mediates humoral immunity. Second class is T cells. Origin occurs in bone marrow, whereas maturation occurs in thymus. It mediates cell-mediated immunity. And the third class is antigen-presenting cells. And we have discussed in detail about antigen-presenting cells in our last video. That includes B cells, macrophages, and dendritic cells. B cells are responsible for antibody production. B cell is having a receptor which is B cell receptor which is specific to an epitope or antigenic peptide. It is having both MHC class 1 and MHC class 2 receptor. MHC class 1 receptor is present in all nucleated cells, whereas MHC class 2 is the specific receptor present on antigen presenting cells. Therefore, B cell can act as antigen presenting cells also. What is happening is antigen bound T cells stimulates specific B cells and that multiply and differentiate to form clone of cells which is called as clonal selection which later differentiate into form memory cells and plasma cells. Plasma cells secrete millions of antibodies into the bloodstream that interacts with the antigen or the pathogen and nullify its effects. And the second class of undifferentiation, a second group of cells are also synthesized that is responsible for immunologic memory, which is the memory cells. When the same pathogen comes for the second time, these cells can recognize the pathogen very easily and the attack will be immense. The second class of cells is T cells. In T cells, the first class is T helper cells, which is having CD4 plus receptor on the cell surf surface. This can interact only with MHC class 2 bound antigen and this can be these cells can be called as a commander of the immune system as it mediates it interacts with all other cells it activates B cells for antibody production secreting lymphokines activating cytotoxic T cells B cells also involved in promoting neutrophils and also enhancing the capacity of macrophages for phagocytosis so it can be called as the commander of the immune system T helper cells it is having a T cell receptor that can recognize only antigen that is bound to MHC class 2. A second type of T cell is the T cytotoxic cells, which is having a receptor CD8+. The major receptor involved is MHC class 1. If there is a virus infected cells with a part of a portion of virus that is presented on MHC class 1, these cytotoxic T cells can directly interact with these cells and kill that cells, thereby preventing further infection. So this, that's why it is called a cytotoxic, can directly interact with the cell and causing its degradation, thereby preventing further infection. Very effective against virus infected cells and tumor cells. The third class is called as T suppressor cells that actually prevents immune cells like cytotoxic T cells which are very powerful from attacking polysone cells. So the activity of cytotoxic T cells is regulated by T suppressor cells. And finally there is memory T cells as there is memory B cells and this is responsible for immunologic memory. And the third class is antigen presenting cells. In the case of antigen presenting cell, it is having a speciality. All nucleated cells are with MHC class 1 receptor. But as antigen presenting cell is with MHC class 2 receptor, which can interact with T helper cell, the commander of the immune system. So antigen presenting cells will degrade the antigen and present it on MHC class 2 so that T helper cells can activate 
other cells of the immune system for eliminating that particular pathogen. That includes macrophages, B cells and dendritic cells. So the cells, major cells involved in acquired immunity are P cells, T cells and antigen presenting cells whereas macrophages and dendritic cells, all these cells are also involved in innate immunity. There is a crosstalk between both these systems, innate immunity and acquired immunity. Thanks for your attention. You are with biologicsumsfury.com.